I have way too many. If you're new here, my name is Taylor, Taylor Rose, and I make and sell handmade hair accessories. And I've been doing that for eight years. And I've just changed my whole studio around um, just to make it a bit more functional because it just wasn't working for me. In this video, I'll be making stock to put in my new shelves. So I'll show you what I mean. So I got all of these shelving units. So there's three there. I could possibly fit another, four, like a fourth one as well. And they're just from Ikea. I can't remember what it's called. It starts with G. But my plan is to fit a heap of XLs in here. So you might think, oh my god, that's way too small. But it's actually perfect size for me. Considering I cannot keep stock of anything. I really struggle to keep stock up. So if these are full then I'll I'll be very, very, very happy <laughs> with myself. So first things first, I need to choose which fabrics I will be using in there. They're new, let's just have a look at all the fabrics I have. <laughs> I have way too many. And then we got them there. And then over here too. So I'm thinking about choosing a heap from, these are all my new ones that aren't on the website yet. So I'm thinking about choosing a heap of these. So when they finally do get released at the end of this month, I'll have them like a heap of them in stock but then I'm also thinking about choosing a heap from in here that are uh, like the best sellers sort of thing for either markets or online but I will be doing a clearance sale I think in March January February March maybe March or April end of March trying to get rid of a lot of these different fabrics ones I don't really want to sell anymore on the online store that's something to look forward to so I feel like I should work on the XL scrunchies first I think I counted them. I think it's 12 pockets. So I'm about to choose 12 different fabrics, which I don't know, maybe I'll do a little bit more than 12 because I like, I would rather have a lot of XLs ready to go. Cause, okay, this is this is what I've done. Uh, obviously I got the Juhi machine. So that's a very, very nice fast machine. I ended up sewing all of my tubes up. I did a heap of, boxes that I had that were pre-cuts. I did all like the tubes that were in my cupboard. Um, I elasticed all those like yesterday. I still have two more boxes to do uh, to sew up but I mean I've already got six and a half or seven and a half boxes. I'll show you. Put them in the hallway <laughs> but there's just so many. So I still need to like sew up all the elastic. So these are my thin elastic ones. Here we go. These are white elastic. So that's what I usually sell is my white elastic up across here. And then I sew across the actual scrunchie. Okay, I might start with getting some fabrics out from under here. Because really, it wouldn't really hurt to get a lot of these made anyway, like at least cut for the XLs. Even if I'm not going to put them in these bits and pieces. But most of these are XL scrunchies uh, materials. Just because they're so thick. Um, and I've got so much of them. I mean, there's not even any point kind of filming this part because I'm going to be grabbing out pretty much the whole lot. <laughs> So this is already way more than 12. Uh, but I think I'll just cut a heap of them anyway. And then there's still heaps down here, which are XL ones, XL scrunchies. And I have... A heap of these gingham ones that are RXLs as well. So, yeah, my god, there's just so many different fabrics.
it's a lot easier to cut them when they're already on my boards than on them. I scrapped here for them. <laughs> So I'll just make excels in this video, I think, uh, yeah, because I feel like this is going to take me a long time anyway to do. Yeah, here's all the stuff I've cut so far. All of that. They're just some that I cut for the normal size, and I just love all these to cut.
One box down, two more to go. It's been a while since I actually got on and uh, was doing the Excel stuff, but I've done a little bit, not really a lot behind the scenes, not really a lot, honestly, but I'm gonna do some more today. So I have been elasticing uh, my tubes. They also were flipped. Um, my little cousin Brody kind of flipped most of them, just not the these ones because they were harder to flip. Um, I've had a bit of a sprain to like my wrist. I don't know if it's a sprain, but it was. It's been hurting anyway. So I've been trying not to elastic too much because that puts a lot of strain on my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my boxes and start on these two boxes down the bottom. Uh, this one down here is pretty much all new cut stuff. So I didn't cut that um, when I started this video because this is all new stuff from Spotlight. I got a heap of materials and I need to finish this box off. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to yeah, just get started and just, just go. Just go for it. Okay, so I finished one box full. I start to flip them all. I still have another box to go. So there's still all these to do. So I'm going to start doing them now. I might film a little bit of it. Uh, maybe. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's still heaps. I haven't quite finished doing everything yet, but I thought I'd start flipping this box just so I have some film of it while it's still daylight. And then I'm gonna continue sewing the rest of the boxes that I have. I'm also finally going on my holiday, which is really good. Um, I'm going March the 8th, I think. And I'm going for like only a week and a half, I think. It's like 10 days. So that means I have to have quite a few YouTube videos ready to go. So that means that this YouTube video, I'm really hoping it's going to be finished before I go so that I can have it all edited. And I also need to get all my orders out before I leave. Yeah, there's just a lot. I can't just end it because I need to post all my scrunchies in my little cupboard thingy that I have. I've already mentioned this, but I do burrito for this style, um, the XLs. I don't do burrito for my normal size, just personal preference. I like doing my, my one for my other size. It's quicker for me, but I think burrito looks nicer in the XLs. I think burrito does look nice in the other one too, but I just like to be different, you know, just like to be paying for everyone that agrees with burrito and doesn't like my message. <laughs> Keeps the YouTube comments interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to speed this up.
Okay, so I didn't actually film doing this. Uh, <laughs> I only filmed a little bit at the market. So I did most of it uh, the night before the market and then I did a whole tub while I was at the market. Uh, I pretty much just, yeah, used my bobkin. It's from Clover, uh, the brand, Clover Bobkin. And I put the elastic through. And then I glue them. Uh, it just literally stays like that for a little while until I sew the elastic together. Why do I glue them? Because I'll fall right back into the fabric if I don't glue them. Yeah, get lots of comments about that. Um, <laughs> and I don't like using safety pins. I feel like this is a much safer option. I'm going to start sewing them now though. There's heaps here. I'm very confident that I'll finish these all before I go on my holiday and have this video up hopefully this week. So I finished all of these ones last night and I left a few boxes. So I've got this box here and this box here to do. Um, I'm going to clean all this up probably after I finish all these. So there's actually not too many to go. And then I just need to cut all the threads off and fluff them out and then put them in my massive thing. I actually think I'm going to put everything in and like fill it up because I there surely will be enough to fill that up, I think. I don't know. We will see. I don't know. Other news, I need to cancel my holiday again. Fourth time. Oh, my God. So, yeah, have to cancel it again um, and postpone it. Just because of the weather, it's, like, currently flooding really bad, like, flash flooding really badly in Queensland. Uh, yeah, I'll finish these off probably by... Hopefully by midday I'll have these all done and hopefully, yeah, have them all cut and finished and then by the end of the day they'll all be in the thing which I forget, what what, what would you even call it? The scrunchie holder thing? I don't know what to call it right now. My brain's all like, because of the cancellation.
This looks so good. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my goodness. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm always crying. It looks so good. Um, I'm one short though. I'm one colour short. Right down the bottom. Because I can probably fit these in the same hole. Because I used all up all of this one and all the black as well. I've got that, got that, got that. I need more of that one because that one sells so well. Black's selling really well at the moment too, but the rest of the satins are up there. Oh, those ones I don't have. That one, that one needs to be done too because that one's like really popular. I feel like I should, I don't know, do like one more, like six more. I kind of can't be bothered now that I've got it all in there. It's just annoying me that that bottom one, there's two of the same thing. Yeah, I will need to make more of these and I will need to make more of the other colour. Freya. Okay, here's the final view. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. You can't even see it that well because of the angle, like, because that's obviously the brightest and when I'm filming it this way, it's not showing correctly. Yeah, I'm going to take some photos and some reels, exactly how I imagined, uh, and if and when, well, when I get a bigger space, hopefully, hopefully soon, I want to put more, I want to do more of these, like, sort of walls. Um, yeah, I think that'll be really cool. Imagine if I just had a full wall looking like that. That would be pretty cool. Well, I suppose that's the end of the vlog because I finished the whole wall. I thought I'd be doing this in like two bits, like having my normal size scrunchies, but I think I'll just leave the XLs in there. I think they'll just look really nice and neat and very pretty. I feel like XLs would probably be easier to keep stock of because there's not as many, so I'll sort of know which ones to make more of. Let me know what you think of the wall. I really want more of these so I can just like line them all up and put as many as I can in uh, with all the different colours I have but yeah just not enough space. Oh well this looks really cool. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!